My name is Ray Clifton. I'm Director of Training at Forest Workforce Training Institute and Forestry Works. Logging and timber transport are the backbone of Alabama's world-class forest industry. Today we'll present a video on a truck inspection that will hopefully help you in your pre- and post-trip inspections every day to make sure that you have all of your safety points covered. Please remember that this video is intended to be an instruction and may or may not be an, what you will actually encounter on a level two inspection. Hi, I'm Captain Tim Pullen with the Motor Carrier Safety Unit of the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. We are proud today to partner with Forestry Works and what we will believe will be a great informative video on what you could expect to encounter should you be stopped by a commercial motor vehicle enforcement officer and a level two inspection performed. Today we're going to be stopping this truck to perform a level two commercial vehicle inspection. When stopping these vehicles, we try to get the drivers to pull to a safe location off the roadway away from traffic. Um, there's a wide spot up here on the right. I hope our driver's going to pick that location to stop. And it looks like he's going to pick the location that we prefer, which is off the roadway away from traffic. I'm going to exit my vehicle and begin my level two commercial vehicle inspection. Good morning. I'm Corporal Ezekiel with the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. Today we'll be demonstrating a level two commercial vehicle inspection. Good morning, sir. I'm Corporal Ezekiel. We're going to be doing a level two commercial vehicle inspection today. Uh, you mind go ahead and shut your truck off for me? All right. There's a few things I need to get from you. I need to get your driver's license, your medical card. All right. Your medical card's good. We're checking the driver's license for uh, restrictions and proper class of commercial driver's license. Right, you can have that back. Do you have the uh, documentation for your truck? Do you have your tag paperwork, your yeah. annual, annual inspection? All right, here you go. Uh, do you have uh, any paperwork on your load? And you, where did you pick the load up today? Okay, we'll be coming from Bullock County. Okay. And where will you be taking the load to? The load will be going up to Thorsby, Alabama. Thorsby, Alabama? Yes, sir. All right. You're going to Boise Cascade? Yes, sir. All right. All right, did you do a pre-trip inspection on your truck this morning? Yes, sir. Do you have any documentation of that? All right. Did you notice any issues or anything with your truck this morning that needs to be noted? Found nothing wrong, sir. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm about to start my level two walk around inspection. Uh, we'll be walking around the truck. I'll get you to work your lights for me while doing that. I'll use hand signals, right turn signal, left turn signal, high beams at the front, brakes at the back, okay? Uh, while, also, while I'm at the front of the vehicle, I'll be checking your windshield and your windshield wipers. I'll do the, a hand signal like this right here. I'll get you to turn your windshield wipers on and activate your windshield washer system, okay? There. All right. Go ahead and uh, get you to roll down your window for me. All right. All right, so what I'll get you to do is go ahead and turn your lights to the on position, turn your ignition to the on position, and release all your brakes. All right, get your right. foot off the brake. Off the brake. All right. So at the front of the vehicle, we'll be checking for headlights, turn signals, and ID lamps. Also be checking the windshield and the windshield washer system. All right. Get your right to your right turn signal. High beam headlights. High beam headlights. Windshield washer. Washer system. And now we'll be checking the front left of the truck. 
be inspecting the wheel, checking the uh, tire, ensuring adequate tread depth, inspecting the rim for cracks, and ensuring all wheel fasteners are present and secure. During this process, during this section of the inspection, we also look at the pitman arm, check the leaf springs, see if we can find any cracks in those. If any, doc if any violations are found, I would document those at this time. Next up, we'll be checking the left saddle tank area of the truck. I'll be inspecting the exhaust system, ensuring there's no leaks under the cab, checking the fuel system, fuel cap on the fuel tank, and fuel lines, and ensure there are no leaks from the fuel system. Next, we'll be moving from the left saddle tank area to the front of the trailer. We're checking airlines, electrical connections in this area. We're checking these, the electrical connections to make sure there's no chafing against hard metal surfaces and checking to ensure that there's no frayed wires. As for the airline connections, we'll be checking to make sure there's no kinks or holes or there's no chafing against hard metal surfaces within the airlines. We'll also be listening for audible air leaks in this section of the inspection. Next, we'll check the drive line of the vehicle. And then we'll move from the front of the trailer to the rear of the truck. We want to ensure that the retroreflective material is in place on the rear of the truck. And then we'll check both tandem axles and tires to ensure proper tread depth. Ensure that there's no cracks in the wheel. Ensure the wheel fasteners are secure and tight and that there are no cuts in the sidewalls of the tires. Also check the upper and lower fifth wheel for cracks and ensure all the fasteners are secure. <laughs> Move to the rear of the truck and have the driver perform lighting functions. Left turn, right turn, brakes, place the vehicle in reverse for me. Place the vehicle in reverse for me. In this portion of the inspection, it is noted that the reverse light on the vehicle is inoperable. We'll also be checking for lower reflective material, ensure that it's on both sides of the vehicle on the tops of the mud flaps. The next step, we'll start with inspecting the left side of the trailer. On the left side of the trailer, we'll be inspecting the frame for cracks, unmanufactured holes, and we'll also be checking load securement. All logs are required to be secured with a minimum of two tie downs. While walking down the side of the trailer, we'll be looking for inspecting the frame for cracks, ensuring that the side marker lights are in front are working. Also checking load securement here. We're checking the rear wheels for tread depth, ensure no material is lodged between, between the, the tires. Checking the wheel for cracks and secure, ensuring all wheel fasteners are secure and tight. Checking the hub for leaks. We'll then move to the rear of the vehicle. Now we'll be checking the rear required lighting of the vehicle. Left turn. Right turn, brakes. Also be checking the, ensuring that all three center ID lights work and the rear tag light is functioning. At this time, I'll check the rear ABS light. Go ahead, driver, go ahead and cut your truck off. Flagging is required on all projected loads of over four feet beyond the rear of the vehicle. Two flags are required if the projected load is over two feet wide. Those flags should be placed at the outermost extremities of the, of the projected load. 
We'll now move to the right side of the vehicle. We'll be checking the same things as we were checking on the left side. We'll be checking for tire tread depth, secure fasteners on the wheels and cracks in the wheels, checking load securement, checking for cracks in the frame, ensuring the side marker light is functioning, checking for cracks in the frame, cracks in the bolsters, load securement again, tire tread depth, make sure nothing is lodged between the wheels, checking the left saddle tank area or the right saddle tank area for fuel leaks, checking the exhaust system for leaks under the cab, and finally checking the front wheel. Checking all the wheel fasteners for secureness. Checking the wheel for cracks. Next, we'll move to the driver compartment of the vehicle. In the driver's compartment of the vehicle, I'll be checking for low air loss, low air warning, air loss rate. First thing I'll be checking is the uh, ABS malfunction light. If you would, cut your ignition off for me and then cut it back into the on position. As the ABS light has come on, now it's gone out, indicating there's no malfunction in the ABS system. What I'll get you to do now is uh, go ahead and start your truck. Now I'm gonna check for air loss rate. What I'll get you to do is release both of your brakes for me, and then mash and hold your brakes for me. This is ensuring that there are no air leaks and that the truck can maintain air pressure when uh, brakes are applied and it's passed the test. Go ahead and set your brakes. Next thing I'll check is the uh, low air warning light. You get the driver to uh, pump the brakes down to the uh, light it activates. Go ahead and pump your brakes for me, sir. All right, his lights come on, so it passes the test. All right, you got a set of triangles there. And there's three triangles in the box. In the box. And then your fire extinguisher is located. The fire extinguisher will be located on the headache rack on the rear. Okay. All right, at this point, I'll have the driver exit the vehicle and open the hood of the vehicle. Driver, if you wouldn't mind, come out here and exit. open your hood for me. So in this area, we'll just be looking for oil leaks, welds on the pitman arm, steering wheel lash, ensure that all clamps are tight, the fluid levels are good. Also check the same thing on the right side of the vehicle. Driver, just have a seat in your vehicle when you get done. I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Yes, sir. I'll now return to my vehicle and complete the inspection report. After completing the inspection report, I'll return it up to the driver and give him a copy of his inspection report. All right, driver. I've completed your inspection report. I did find one violation for a reverse lamp. Uh, what I need you to do is uh, sign off your, on this inspection report, give it to your company and have them sign off and return it to us within 15 days, certifying that they fixed that violation, okay? All right, we'll take care. Uh, sir, I appreciate your cooperation. Have a good afternoon.